for nearly 70 years, this place in the high-intensity suburb of Mavuku has held a special place in the hearts of many Catholics. This is Our Lady of Perpetual Help and St. Fidelis Par. The history of the Roman Catholic Church in Zimbabwe, as it is known, is that this was a Zambezi mission. Zambezi mission covers 1,000 miles, 1.5 or 1.6 kilometers. What? 1,600 kilometers. Malawi, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. And the first destination was in Bulawayo because it was necessary for King Lobenula to be allowed to calm, to calm down to have faith in the Jesuits. 56, 57, uh, Mabuku became quite a, a success story. Uh, the, the government opened Mabuku because they needed Mabuku because they expired. Yeah, no, no. In 1954, the church congregants used a fellow church member's house in an area called Mukanga Porto to celebrate Mass. However, as the numbers grew large, they sought space at a farmhouse owned by a white farmer known as Fidelis. As the numbers of the congregants continued to grow, the owner allowed the congregants to use his drying homes, known as Madiri Hora in Shona, to accommodate the large numbers. <laughs> It was in 1959, perhaps the end of 58, when Father Gerald Hughes, uh, who was the then uh, provincial of the Redemptors in London, got a request from um, Archbishop Mark to come and work in Zimbabwe in the Archdiocese of, of Salisbury at the time. When the request came, the Redemptorists, who were already in South Africa, began planning to come to Zimbabwe, to, to, to and to Salisbury at the time. And this eventually Fundraising was very difficult. I went to Archbishop Jacaipa and asked him if we could change the name of the church to Our Lady of Perpetual Help. I did this for two reasons. One is because, of course, this is our strong redemptorist devotion, but also because I wanted to contact other churches throughout the world to um, raise funds, to help me raise funds. Um, he refused. And so I wrote back to him and met with him and eventually we negotiated that the church would be named Our Lady of Perpetual Help and St. Fidelis. So it keeps the link with the past. Raising funds was really tough, as you can imagine. Um, the local people gave what they could, but that wasn't much. Father Mackenzie, the young spirit Bishop. 
The youth to be involved in the development of the church. Uh, I'm sure you will remember that we didn't have a, a pavement at the church and some, some of the structures were breaking down. And so we started with the parish to renovate the church with the help of the young people, putting a, a, a good pavement to the church, uh, developing the hall, um, again, um, putting a, giving a facelift to the church. And so that's what we did. And this can never be said to be my achievements, but our achievements. Uh, we worked with the people, we served the church, we, we, ins we inspired each other to become more zealous and more open to the, 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 the cry and the call of heaven to, to reach out to as many as, as we possibly could. And Brother Benjamin. Muramba China, which was the operation of restore order, it left a lot of children uh, not going to school and focusing on that, the redemptress um, made it their business to see to it that all those children who were no longer going to school had to go back to school, back to the form of system. And uh, the way we did it was to make sure that uh, we raised up funds that uh, were sufficient to see almost 310 uh, children looked after uh, right through their primary and most prob uh, probably to secondary school. Babampanda Sekwa, Shakari, na brother Benjamin. Dova Kaita, Utivan, Wangan, Panu Pachi.